In the TV show Friends, one of the characters, Phoebe Buffay, aspires to be an artist. And one of the hallmarks that she says that she aspires to is to not be appreciated in her own time. And that's a very interesting concept because it's happened to many artists where their, their content is only really appreciated long after their death. Right? You can take Johann Sebastian Bach, for example. It was only several generations after his death that he was widely adopted, widely seen as being good. Right? And so, if we take Johann Sebastian Bach as an example, we can consider him good or bad based on the audience. Right? If he was making music for a tiny sliver of the audience in his day, whilst he was living, then he succeeded, because they kept his music long enough they showed enough interest to keep his music on the record shelves, let's say, uh, in circulation, that it eventually stayed around long enough that future generations could consider him good and consume his music more. Um, if he was aiming to be popular uh, amongst the masses of his day, of his peers, of the, the general public, and uh, then he was then you can consider him a failure because they considered him old fashioned and they didn't like him. Right now, if he was making his music for future generations to enjoy, right, that those people long, long, long after he's dead, that they'd love his music, then he was a success. But if that was his intention, if that was his target audience, then you have to question the practicality of it, because there's absolutely no way he can benefit from their interest, uh, from their love of his music, if he's long dead, <laughs> right, and so. The question comes up to, to not be appreciated in your time. Is that just an excuse for missing the mark with today's audience? I hope that helps. I'm Tom. Have a nice day.